Hello Calculus, it is time for the second set of videos, 8.4. Uh, so now, why, what is a trig substitution and why would we want to use it? Uh, so there are some integrals that we want to find that involve radicals, that is roots, uh, particularly square roots uh, that we're uh, going to talk about in this section. And we can use a little imagination to throw in a, a, a trig function so that uh, all this niceness happens, okay? So, just as a quick example of kind of why we would do this, let's look at, uh, a, just say, not this integral, but an integral involving an expression like this, where we have a squared minus u squared. Now, um, we can look and, and find some special cases where we can use, uh, um, you know, the, that, those list of integrals uh, in 8.2 or 8.1, 8.12 take integrals uh, involving expressions like this. But um, sometimes we're going to have extra stuff in there that's going to make it impossible to do that. So what we're going to do is use uh, trig substitution. And what I want you to notice is, is a is a number and u is a function. Okay? So when I look at this, I, I see that if this number were 1 and this uh, trig function were, uh, or, or this function were um, the sine of theta, then wouldn't that be nice because this would be 1 minus sine theta, or sine, actually since it gets squared, 1 minus sine squared theta. Okay, so let's see what happens. So this isn't necessarily one, but let's see what would happen if, let's say we did the substitution u equals a times the sine of theta. And we'd have a squared minus a times the sine of theta squared. Okay, the square root of a squared minus a squared sine squared theta. Move over here, this is the square root of a squared times 1 minus sine squared theta. And if I do all this at once, I take the square root of a squared, I convert this into, what is this? 1 minus sine squared is cosine squared. So I get a times the cosine of theta. Okay, Why? Because the square root of a squared is a. This is replaced by cosine squared, and the square root of cosine squared would be cosine. So see how we went from an expression like this, made this substitution, and came out on the end with something like this. This is much simpler. Uh, since you've been doing all your homework, you know that uh, a lot of expressions are made difficult uh, to find the integral of because of, of, of a radical. You know, something is under the radical, and, and you may have told yourself, oh, if only that radical wasn't there, I could easily find the integral. Uh, so we're going to use trig substitution in those instances. Um, so to show you how and the whole process, I'm just going to go into some practice problems. Uh, but that'll do it for the intro, and uh, we'll do practice problems in the next video.